Yeah, Coach Chiz again. Coach Coach Luffler talked about kind of getting back to your roots and being more more focused in on being a hard nosed running team. Is that is that good for you to hear? This is great for me to hear. That's what I want to hear. So, I mean, I'm happy about that. Did you see a difference today in practice and what you guys did in that respect? Uh, <clears throat> well, you know, we got to mix it up, uh, pass and run. So it wasn't really much different. I mean, Tuesday's normally a run day anyways. So we still had to run pretty good. But then, you know, towards the end we passed. So, uh, you know, I, it was about the same. How was it to get a carry? It was amazing. <laughs> uh, that's the first handoff I've taken since high school in a game. So I was kind of, you know, I was kind of nervous and really know how to expect, you know, what to expect. But um, I enjoyed it. I had fun. I wish I had got more than three yards, but it's a start. So. Did you know going into the game that you may be getting a carry? I mean, Gene's kind of hinted to you getting more carries now. We uh, we practiced it a few times in practice, but it wasn't really. Nobody made a big deal about it. You know, maybe two or three times, and that was it. So. I was kind of thinking, you know, maybe, but I wasn't like for sure, like amped up about it, you know. So. You expect to get more carries as the season progresses? Uh, I really, I don't know. You know, it depends on what the coaches want. So I'm just going to go with the flow and do my job. And if it comes, it comes. If not, then I will. One of the things that fullback position is, is kind of getting a feel for the running backs. Is that something you guys you feel like you've progressed some? Getting a feel for Trey and Mike and Ontario? Compared to like in the spring? Or yeah, like, yeah, just kind of getting a feel for how they run and how you should block for them. Uh, I think so. It's definitely, um, it's different from when I was at Illinois because it was more, we had more of like just one back, really. And here we, you know, we switch them out, do different things with different guys. So I definitely like to know who's in the backfield because, um, yeah, I definitely change up my blocking a little bit for who's running the ball. But yeah, I'm getting to know the styles for sure. Yeah, you talked about Trey maybe getting more carries and kind of getting the ball to him. What's different about him? Because he seems like a guy that just kind of finds a hole and he's trying to hit it as hard as possible. Do you have to kind of get out of the way and get a little speed up for him? I try to. Uh, some of those plays, you know, we, have, we both have to kind of sit back and wait for the hole to open up. And once it does, once I see it, I'm going to go as fast as I can because I know he's falling right behind me. There's been several times, you know, I run through the hole and he's like, I can feel his hand right on me, you know, feeling me. So. I don't like I don't like that I don't like to be that tight, but um, he definitely he'll he'll stick it in there, so that's good. Do you remember the last time you carried a football game? Yeah, it was my senior year in high school. I was playing linebacker, but I was also playing goal line fullback, and I probably had three carries that year for touchdowns. So that was that was the last time. You had some kind of carry at Illinois, didn't you? I, yeah, I had carries at Illinois. Um, I'm that was, those are my last handoffs. At Illinois, I had a. A pass thrown to me uh, against Michigan, and that was a one-yard gain. As soon as I turned, got my feet went. I did a flip, and uh, <laughs> after that, um, against uh, um, can't remember who it was against, but I got a, I did a fake punt and got a 13-yard gain. So I think that was it um, for sure. So you're averaging eight yards a carry. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. <laughs> 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 Coach Jessica talked about being more involved in the offense this week. Is there anything you've noticed the past couple of days of practice? Anything that he's done? Uh, you know, the, we we put in some more plays today, and so um, you know, I think I think that'll that'll help. But um, you know, like I said earlier, it's just uh, we got to mix up. We got to hit the run and pass, and work both. So can't spend all day doing run and everything. But um, I really think uh, it'll. I'll, I'll notice a big difference in the uh, game this week. You know, that's what I'll know for sure. One Jay, more for Jay. Jay, who's the, the heart of the offense in terms of just overall setting the tone, local leadership, all that stuff? Uh, I think it's a mixture of guys. I don't think we have, um, you know, just one guy. But I definitely, we definitely have leaders um, on offense. You know, um, Sammy Coates last game was he was trying to pump people up, getting everybody going. And uh, I think from you know from their group, he was really. He really stepped forward, and uh, you know, Philip. He's always lead, a leader. Um, he leads by example, and he knows how to get everybody going. Um, you know, Kyle. Kyle's a leader, uh, just because he's in the leadership role. You know, and people look up to him, and so he he leads. You know, in the huddle and everything. But really, it's not you know one standout guy. It's just everybody. Um, you know, trying to work together and get everybody going.